always go to something bigger than yourself. Are you not guilty of immersing yourself into things that were too small to hold your vision? My problem is so many times you've thrown big ideas at small people. You have to want something so big that it wakes you up in the middle of the night. You have to want something so big that you think about it all the time. You have to want something so big that it drives you to wake up when you don't want to. It keeps you up at night when you've long been sleepy. It makes you show up, do things you wouldn't normally do. It requires extra. Be calm when things are going well, be calm. Don't think you're on top of the world in mm. the sense you gotta be chill. Just take what's good in your life and move forward cautiously and carefully. Losing in life is so important. Whether it's getting dumped, getting fired, losing a game, those feelings where things didn't work out your way, that's important because it lets you know this is the bad feeling that comes when it goes wrong and you improve and then it makes the good feelings of victory all the better. The hardest thing to do, the hardest thing to deal with, the hardest thing to manage, the hardest thing to put up with is transition. The thing we hate the most is transition. We hate it because it takes us out of our element, it takes us out of our comfort zone, it takes us out of the place where we are secure and sure, and we've learned how to manage and control everything. You cannot control everything when you are in transition. The man who loves walking will walk further than the man who loves the destination. And when you love the journey, the goals just happen. You hit milestones as a side effect, because it doesn't matter. At that point, I don't care if I can lift this much weight or run this fast. I mean, that's cool, but I don't love it as much as I love the journey. I love the journey. What does the journey consist of? Sucking at something, failing, getting better, learning, start it over, do it again. When you fall in love with the journey, everything else takes care of itself. Average person only spends 20 percent of their time doing the thing that they are really gifted at, created at, passionate about. Telling yourself every day, here I go again, and I got what it takes. This is my day, and nothing out here is going to stop me. You can do what you put your mind to, and if you continue to put your mind to it, the game opens up new levels. In each new level that gets opened up, you're able to adapt a different mindset and a different approach. You can stop at that level or you can go, I want more levels. I want more fucking levels. You can decide that you're going to stand up to life. You can decide that I'm going to live each day as if it were my last. Some of you are so worried about the threat of trouble. You're not in trouble, it's just that trouble has threatened you and the threat of what might happen, what could happen. It's wearing you down. Half of the things that you thought were going to happen never did happen. But if you allow those thoughts to dwell in your mind, it will succeed at robbing you of your peace, robbing you of your joy, robbing you of your life, just because you thought yourself into a nervous breakdown. You thought yourself into depression. You thought yourself into defeatism. You want it, and you're gonna go all out to have it. It's not going to be easy when you want to change. It's not easy, if it were in fact easy, everybody would do it. There is not one thing that has ever happened to you. Not one experience, not one encounter, not one crisis, not one joyful thing that hasn't happened just to make you better and help you rise. There is another level. The only reason you keep saying there isn't is you feel so exhausted about where you are. But life, the universe of God, is just testing you because there is another level. There's a level where all your dreams are realized. There's a level that you've always dreamed about. It is real, it has not gone away. But it takes that extra burst when you think there's nothing left, there's no way, you've tried everything 10 million times, and you keep going. Good fighter is not necessarily the greatest fighter that ever lived. It's what where you want to go. You know what I mean? Um, a good fighter just to be diligent and committed and disciplined, doing what you 
hate to do, but do it like you love it. You know, always testing yourself and forcing yourself to the limits. You, in order to have something different, you are going to have to do something different. In order to have something more, you have to do something you haven't done yet. I have to say the things I didn't want to say, do the things I didn't feel like doing, to have the life I knew I wanted. Period. And you'll look up, look up in five years and not recognize your life. You know, everything happens for a reason and there's, there's a story to, to everything. And, and if you take time to realize you know, what, what your dream is and, and what you really want in life, no matter what it is, whether it's sports, whether it's in other fields, um, you have to realize that there's always work to do and you want to be the hardest working person in whatever you do and you put yourself in position to be successful. Um, and you have to have a passion about what you do. Anything and everything can be done if you can visualize it, if you believe in yourself. And I'm going to tell you something that a lot of people, 99% of people disagree with. Everybody says, follow your passions. I say this both. I say, follow your efforts. It's amazing how we're all passionate about things. We are all passionate about something. But it, no matter what, it all nets out to where do you put your time? Because when people put in their time, you get better at things. And when you get better at something, you get good at something, then you have a chance to be great at something. And you know what I've learned? Nobody ever quits anything they're great at. And once you get great at it, it's amazing how passionate you become about it. Follow your efforts, right? Because it's not in the dreaming, it's in the doing. It's in my head 24 seven. There's nothing else I can think of. I don't, I don't think about nothing else. If, if, let's say I'm just curious. Curiously fascinated with it, and I can't stop thinking about it. Everything I do in my life is is related to this. I don't do nothing else, but it's not got to do with fine. You know what I mean? When you are struggling and you start thinking about giving up, I want you to remember the power of hope, the belief that something better is always possible if you're willing to work for it and fight for it. Our hope that if we work hard enough and believe in ourselves, then we can be whatever we dream. Think big, because then you're gonna get big. Then you're gonna go and achieve big things. That is the most important thing. You, know, you don't achieve big things by accident. So shoot for the top, shoot for the sky, shoot for the, you know, uh, uh, for the start. You have to practice who you wanna be. You know, you don't wake up one morning and you're suddenly who you think you want to be. You have to put some energy into it. So if you want to be an honest person, you have to be an honest person every day, even starting at three and four and five, right? If you're going to be a hard worker, hard work doesn't just appear. You have to practice hard work. Right? You have to practice effort. No one has ever, ever achieved anything if they haven't faced failures, if they haven't had disappointments, if they haven't had days when they don't want to wake up, get out of bed. No, no one has ever achieved anything. To achieve anything in life, you have to be prepared to take on the odds. One of the things that I was taught that sticks in my mind was a gentleman by the name of Bill Ball. And he always talked about failing big. He said, if you're going to fail, fail big. I'm like, I like that a lot. I do too. You know, I'm not a fall back mentality kind of person. So, well, you know, better have another career to fall back on. I'm like, I don't want to fall back on anything. 